Hey everyone, Mark Saltzman here. Today we're taking a look at the new HTC HD7. This is the latest in the Windows Phone 7 family and the one with the largest touchscreen, 4.3 inches. So there, therefore, it's great for those who love consuming media such as movies, TV shows, music videos, and in this case, sports. Um, this is a Bell exclusive, this phone in Canada, and um, uh, this is part of the Bell TV, the mobile TV package, the sports package, where we're watching NHL highlights. So as you can see, it looks quite good on the WVGA screen, wide VGA screen, and check this out. I'm gonna angle down the web camera. Not only does it show video on a huge screen, but it has a little kickstand in the back. There it is right here, surrounding the uh, camera lens. So you just pop it down on the table, and it props up the video so you can watch it whether it's on your night table or maybe it's uh, at the desk at work or on your coffee table or uh, kitchen table when you're having breakfast you have your own portable television if you will um, and much more so it's really cool in that respect and that is the first uh, Windows Phone 7 device to have that plus it's got great sound um, you can probably see the speaker grills on each side here and it also has some technology like SRS, a mobile version of SRS surround. So it simulates surround sound audio even though it's coming out of the two speakers. It does sound really good. Um, plus again it is a Windows Phone 7 device so just a quick recap of some of the cool features. Let me just tap the home button here. You've got these gorgeous live tiles so it's a, a, a dynamic way of looking at you know how many messages you've got, the latest photos that have been uploaded to, uploaded to Facebook. Um, all in a very graceful way. It's not like static icons on an iPhone or an Android. Um, plus, you've got a consolidated people hub where at one glance you can see Twitter feeds and contact information and photos and Facebook um, updates all consolidated into one page for that person. So it's a very convenient way of accessing all this information. Plus, as with all others Windows, uh, Windows Phone 7 devices, you've got a dedicated Bing button. So you press that in the bottom corner, that magnifying glass, and you can tap or speak and find what you're looking for uh, and much like being on computers it has that photo of the day as a backdrop which is cool with factoids that you can uh, learn about as you tap. Um, some other cool features of the uh, HTC HD7 is uh, the fact that it can create your own mobile hotspot um, so up to eight devices in your area that use Wi-Fi like say a Nintendo DS or a PSP or maybe an iPod Touch it'll allow you to get online that way so it'll communicate with the HTC HD7 and then let you get on the internet over 3G. Um, it's got an 8 megapixel camera and the ability to shoot 720p video and uh, again really designed for media uh, including games as well. Games also look fantastic on this device but keep in mind that one of the downsides at this point uh, for Windows Phone 7 devices is a, a, an app store that's lacking in a lot of content. The uh, Windows Phone 7 OS or platform debuted only in say November of 2010. So as a result, there's not a lot of variety of things that you can download from the marketplace, especially when you compare that to the iPhone and the Android and to a lesser extent Blackberry. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for a ton of apps and a ton of variety, then this phone might not be for you. But if you love consuming media and uh, video is a big uh, priority for you, this huge screen and a great looking screen coupled with the kickstand and great surround sound or a mock surround sound uh, really does make it ideal for those who love watching TV shows, sports, stand-up comedy, what have you. It looks really good on this device. If you're interested, the HTC HD7 is a Bell Mobility exclusive in Canada and it sells for $100 on a three-year term. I definitely encourage you to get your hands on it at your local Bell store or the source or wherever they've got one on display to play around with. I'm Mark Saltzman. Thanks for watching.